push is in. Restaurants around the country are getting creative with outdoor dining. But Stephanie Goss asks, are these changes safe in the pandemic? The patio is open, but winter is coming. People need to think outside the box. To keep people safe and comfortable, restaurants are getting creative. There are igloos in Boston. We've had them full every night. Small huts in Chicago. How awesome it would be to just continue to be out of the house even when it gets cold. Bubbles in New York City. I'm trying to save weeks of business. That's really what I'm trying to do. Because with those bubbles, the weather inside the bubble is about 7, 8, 10 degrees warmer. I do feel safe inside the bubble for sure. And I think it protects us. At Cafe du Soleil, the bubbles are cleaned and aired out after each group leaves. But as restaurants scramble to stay open, experts have a warning. Keeping customers comfortable in bad weather could also put them more at risk for catching COVID. More walls equal more risk. The minute do you start putting walls up, even if they are tent walls, you're also creating a much more enclosed space, which will allow the virus to build up more quickly as well. As for those bubbles, they may protect from the next table, but not from the people in your group. <laughs> the safest idea is heat lamps with no tents, like this New Hampshire restaurant. I love the outdoor seating idea, and I, I love the like the idea of it going into the winter. For the less hardy, remember to tip the wait staff well now. Soon, it may be back to takeout. Stephanie Gosk, NBC News, New York. Up next.